It's Jogja. It's really beautiful. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. With me Ozzy and this is my first vlog. Today I'm going to visit Kraton. What is that? You must be so curious, right? Just stay tuned, I'll be back. Okay, now I'm heading to Kraton. Uh, you can see that the condition here. There are many people and they are so busy. Um, yeah, it's Jogja. It's really beautiful. Just follow me. Yeah. Right behind me is the entrance gate to Kraton. So you can see that everyone is coming here, uh, but the gate is not open yet. So we have to wait for about 20 to 25 minutes and just stay tuned. Okay, follow me. Yeah, finally. I'm in Kraton right now guys um, It's my first time to come here So right behind me is a place you can buy a ticket A ticket is only 5,000 rupiah um, It's really affordable for you So let's follow me Well guys, now I'm inside of Kraton Before we explore I'm gonna tell you a brief story of Kraton itself Kraton La Yogyakarta Hadidwara or Kraton Yogyakarta is a sultanate place located in Yogyakarta and built by the first king of Yogyakarta, Hamukubono I, exactly in 1755. When we talk about the palace, we must be thinking there will be a king, queen, and the people, and everyone who lives under the authority of the kingdom must follow the rules yeah that's right you know guys a long time ago Kraton Yogyakarta was one of the big kingdom in Java Island but right now this palace is no longer like what it was however most of the people in Yogyakarta still listen to the king and maintain the culture of Yogyakarta itself well guys, I'm going to tell you some buildings and the function. Right behind me is Tangsal Kuning. Usually this place is used by the king to accept special guests. And right here is Tangsal Kejana. This place is usually used for celebrating um, like marriage or special special moment well guys right behind me is Bangsal Kencana building so this place is usually used for special event um, it's quite big so we are heading to next building yeah. just follow me well guys now I'm in Bangsal Manis building Usually this place is used for having meals while Bangsal Kencana is used for special event and here is Bangsal Manis you can see that this building is really beautiful yeah you can see okay follow me okay now I'm heading to the other spots uh, this is an ancient building Exactly. You can see that there are many furnitures. Yeah, various furnitures. So just follow me. Mm. Wow, this is beautiful land. It's very ancient. It's very ancient, right? So and wow, it's beautiful. It's a lamp also. Okay, you can see that 
there are many collections well guys uh, you can see that there will be a performance in every day so we can enjoy the performance and you know it's like traditional music like gamelan you can see that okay i will show you it's really beautiful wow 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 Music of Indonesia exactly in Jogjakarta. And usually this performance it started at 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. It's beautiful, right? Okay guys, that's all for today's activity. What I can conclude that this place is really recommended for you to visit in holiday because it's very affordable. And the value what we can take from this place, uh, we can learn not only about the history of Jogja, but also the culture. If you come to Jogja, don't forget to visit this beautiful place. Don't forget to subscribe my vlog in my YouTube channel. See you and bye-bye.